then six week triggered the six week and we came back we triggered we came back but it never closed on the name the six week so this is an opportunity for you to add to the contract you just keep adding and if you look mm -hmm. at it one uh, once we, we go back up okay, we have two potential targets yeah. so first, i know uh, it is called out of 160s for february i got into the 165 okay uh, he said he want more. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm gonna tell you, he's dangerous. Y'all be dangerous. <laughs> Y'all be using me as bait. <laughs> 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 you remember the first time you called JJ? I missed out the ride. So I was just waiting. Yep. Waiting for the opportunity. Came in, I was like, Yep. Yep. Now you just gotta wait. Always be a time frame. Higher time frame. Y'all, higher time frame will save you. I keep trying to preach it. Abby said it yesterday. The higher time frame is what saves us. That is what makes those reversals. Like the people are gonna say, "Oh, J. Powell did it." Oh, the Mar no, bruh. Higher time frame did it. I don't give a damn. Higher time frame did it. Higher time frame said it was supposed to go up. Like for lows on the five week, low on the five. That's why I said, like, bro, if you looked at low on the five week, it said, bro, it's supposed to go. It, it literally told you low is supposed to go to 230. That's why I was telling people like, Brett, look where the target is supposed to go. It's supposed to go to 230. It's beginner chat questions. It's in, at, go to beginner chat questions. Like I literally said, I said, if you, but it, like the four week says, oh, we done. But if you look at the five week and the six week, it says it's supposed to go to 230. And then you get it all of a sudden, you get a TTO and it's explosive. That's why my brother, the tired time frame is what will set y'all free. It will set y'all free. It is what's gonna let you sit in a play, you down, oh, I'm gonna add. I am going to add. And then you just up big time. Like you just, but you gotta mark your levels though. Like people get it out because their levels aren't marked. Roland said, look at the five week and mark the 50%. His level is marked. He was waiting for J&J to come down. That's why I said, if, that's why I was kind of, I was like, bro, I want J&J to come down even more. <laughs> like if we can get that even more, I'll, please. Like you gotta, you gotta know where the chart is though. You gotta know where the chart is though. You can't just look at the daily. You can't just be looking at the 30. Oh, the 30, I have, oh, the four hour look. I'm like, bro, I forget the four hour, bro, look at the two week. Like look look at the higher time frame. As long as it's still aligning with the higher time frame narrative, you still good to go. But you gotta mark those levels. We, we, um, if you got guys have time this weekend, Cyberdog, he was able to get the um, the weekend shift episode where I talk about the 50% rule and, and validation. And I talk about the importance of the 50% rule, right? Roland just gave you an example right now. You got to look at the higher time frames. If it don't break below 50% of the higher time frame and you're bullish, you are in bullish territory. That's just a TTO to come right back up. 50%. Right, no, go ahead. Go ahead. That was last year, and that was the reason I joined it. I joined that. Uh, oh, I remember I watched it. Uh, oh, really? I think it was like, last year. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, think the, I think we talked about Costco. I talked about Costco and I talked about Apple. For anyone that wants to see like an example of the 50% rule, which I think is very powerful, this is an example that I showed in the Cyberdog um, example. Um, let me go to the weekly chart. And this this week right here. So. So this is the reason why that 50% rule is very important. And honestly, I'm like, yo, look at the higher time frame. If it doesn't break below 50%, you're still good to go. You can just add on your contracts. So if anyone, if you look at Apple, right, this sequence right here, th this is a sequence where Apple would told you, you could have went long and there is no reason to get out the entire, the entire ride. First and foremost, if you look at the, I think the five day chart, First, I mean, look, I gotta show you the actionable signal so y'all can believe me. Was it on the five day or was it on the week? Okay, so yeah, started with an inside two week break to the upside. So just a regular two and two up to the upside, right? So let's say this was your entry. You saw the two week chart and you're like, ooh, I think this is a broadening formation reversal. Let me take this back to the upside. Two and two up on a two week. You know you're buying at least two weeks out. So let's say you bought four weeks out on your contract. Okay. Uh, yes, I will post that video. I can post it here. So let's say you bought four weeks out on your contract just because you said you saw the two week candle and you were like, all right, I'm gonna buy that extra two weeks. So I'm gonna buy four weeks out on the contract. So your entry is at 143.49. Okay, let's go to the weekly chart. 
Your entry was at 143.49 because that was the two up on the two week. And let's say you place your 50%. Your 50% is your reason why you get out, right? Let's just say that you said 50% is the reason why you get out. But remember, close. Close before 50%, okay? So that's why I say you gotta wait for the candle to close. You can't just, you can't just, oh, it hit 50%, all right, I'm getting out. No, you gotta wait for the candle to close. And because you took it, like we're using a weekly, right? So in reality, well, we took it based off the two weeks. So really you gotta wait for the two week candle to close. Let's say you took it based off the weekly. You gotta wait for the weekly candle to close. So you took, this was your entry at 143.49. What happens? Price comes down. So we actually gap down, but price comes down. But what happens? We do not get a candle close below this weekly candle at the 50%. So you're still good to go. You're long, okay? Next candle, let's say you have four weeks in your contract. So you're saying, oh, I can still be in this position, okay? Next week, the candle goes to up. Okay. So you want to ask yourself, hmm, should I add or do I need to get out? You want to see, all right, is price going to invalidate? What happens? Price opens. Okay. Price opens. It comes down to the 50%. Look what happens. It wicks exactly at the 50% before going back up. You could have added at this 50% right here. Boom. Take it back up. Now you're more in profits because you just bought more contracts. Okay. Next week, you said, oh, I just bought more contracts and I still got two weeks, three weeks left. All right, I'm still going to be in this play. Next week, candle opens up. Apple goes two up on the week. What happens? It pulls back to, it doesn't even go to 50%, but you had that 50% mark, right? And you're asking yourself, okay, can I add? You don't even get a candle close below 50%. You add onto your position, boom, go right back up on the week. You just got four more contracts and you're even more in profits, okay? Next week, you're like, hmm, I still got two weeks left on this contract. Should I still be in it? Yeah, let me see what can happen. So next week, boom, Apple goes two up on the week and they say, give me more. You know what they do? They said price come down to the 50% of the previous week right here. You do not even get a candle close below the 50% of this candle. You can add here just to price to go up even more. Look at how many times price reacts to the 50% and they're like, oh, bullish. Oh, you're trying to go down a bearish territory? Nope. Take it back up. That's why 50% rule is very, very important. You need to have it like you need to. You need to. If you worried about a play invalidating, no, it has to. If you got to see how it reacts to 50% of the previous day, if it breaks below 50% of the previous day, all right, now you're threatening bullish territory of the daily candle. Are you a daily participant? Then the daily participants are threatened. If you're taking it based off a weekly actionable signal, then you need to see, are we threatening the weekly by going 50% below the previous week? You need to wait for the candle close to close below the 50% of the previous week. That's why you get these violent TTOs where you get out of a play because you think it's coming down and the next day gap up. That's the TTO. They're saying, oh, you about to get below 50%? Nope, psych. Next day gapped up. They're giving you opportunities to add, to add, to add, to add, as long as you have the time. I'm telling you, there's there's some there's some members in here that look at us crazy for even considering getting monthly contracts because they're like, what? No, 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 no. I'm trying to get the whole move and I'm trying to be able to add in there and I'm trying to be able to be stress free while in the move. So that's why if you look at a lot of these runs, look at cat cat 270. We, we, we call it 255 for this week. GS 380. We call it three three fifties for this week. And you could have just swung. We caught it, and keep in mind, these are the plays we called out last week. That's why I find swinging unbelievable, because you can be $50 in the money for no reason. And you know what I mean by no reason. But <laughs> like, you, you can't, because if you just bought that extra time, then you're like, oh, this is the week where they decided to go 40 points up, 100 points up, and you bought that extra time. That's why you need to buy that time, because you don't know when they're going to give you that explosive move, but you know it's going to happen. That's why I keep trying to tell people with swinging, you because you trust your setup, you know the explosive TTO is going to happen in most cases. You just don't know when, but you just need to sit in there and wait for it to happen. So that's why a lot of days we ain't trading. I mean, we ain't trading, but a lot of days are just managing. You just manage it. Oh, is this a day where we gonna add? All right, we gonna add. Oh, is this gonna? And then you add, and then then they say payday. Once they say payday, they are gonna say, oh, we are gonna give you three two up candles in a row. Look at lows. It's crazy. That's how, just how price action works. Consolidation to expansion. You want to be adding during the consolidation. And then when they expand, you're like, yep, I, pay, I waited. I was patient enough. Right now, J&J &J got an inside three day. We in consolidation. Thank you. Let me add until you want to break out. 
That's why I'm like, bro, red means green. Re learn to see that red means green. Y'all people looking at their ports too much. Red means green. You went down, thank you. Oh, we ain't down today, thank you. We got down, oh yes, thank you. You just, like, you gonna start thinking like that. You ain't gonna start thinking, oh, we got down, fuck, I gotta get out. No, because if you were swinging in the right way, that gap down shouldn't affect you. J and J, we down 40%. Oh, really? Bro, take us down to 60, please. <laughs> Like, you, should be, you still got 35%. No, 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 no. It either going to invalidate or target. Invalidate or target. And that's the thing about thesis. When you're thesis, you got to trust your thesis. That's just going to invalidate. I'm not going to say, and I'm and, and, uh, humbly speak, speaking, that not every play will work out. So the plays that don't work out, of course, I'm going to apologize for. Because I feel like I did my homework enough to where it is going to work out. But just you don't let the PL be the reason why you took that why you got out of the trade. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that's going on right now. I'm not saying for Sparrow or anything like that. Um, but I'm just saying just it, overall, something that you can reflect on going into this weekend. For because think about it, how many actually I want you guys to reflect on that. How many trades did you guys get into the last two weeks? And if you were to look at where that trade is today, you would have been like, damn, that could have been one. If I would have just held one more day, two more days, three more days. Pepsi for me, that was a six. I had to hold, do what? I had to hold what? It went off two days ago. So I just had to hold three more days, <laughs> three more days. See, that's why I find it funny. I had a month left and it said, and Marcus said, hey baby, you just hold three more days, I got you. You hold three more days, I got you. Bro, how many times? They'd be like, bro, if you just hold two more days, I got you. How many times did that happen to y'all? How many times does that happen to y'all? They said, bro, if you just hold more week, I got you. I can bet you would have been in more winning trades this year. I could put my money on it. You, there's been, there will be more winning trades if you would have held. I put money, I don't give a damn, I put money on it. There would have been more winning trades if you would have held. And, 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 and not even, it don't even gotta be winning. It could have been one that could have been a home run to where it could have made up for 10 of your losses. Yeah, it's that time, bro. It's always, it, for me, for me, it's always been like, uh, man, you, I always tell him, like, man, you was right again. You was right again. You just needed time. <laughs> you just needed time. <laughs> like Adobe last week. Y'all saw what Adobe did this week? Like, it would be like, bro, we just needed time. If we just got one more week out. It always do that. They're going to be like, oh, you got, you got the weekly. Oh, he's going to clap you. <laughs> That's what they say. That's how I think they say, oh, yeah, you got the weekly. Got your ass again.